Hello everyone, myself Varna. Today's topic is DNA repair mechanism and some disorders associated with it. So you have come across the replication process and you know that the replication process should be carried out with very high fidelity otherwise there will be alteration in genetic information and uh, uh, alteration in the genetic information can lead to mutation and certain other diseased condition uh, so likewise uh, there is there should be a proofreading before the genetic information is being replicated dna before its replication it should be proofreaded and if there is any mistake it should be repaired for example like uh, when we are typing or sending a message or while like we are printing a content we just have a proofreading we'll read once more and see whether everything is uh, correct uh, the spellings and the grammars everything is correct and we just correct those mistakes and then only we print or send the messages okay so likewise before after replication process uh, body system is looking into the replication uh, replicated matters and if there is any mistake they will repair it and then only proceed otherwise there will be alteration in the genetic information so let's see what what are those uh, mechanisms coming to the topic DNA can be damaged by external agents and by replication errors maintenance of correct base sequence is essential for hereditary fidelity and uh, repair systems has have evolved that restore the correct base sequence so this repair system is helping in restoring the correct base sequence during the replication process let's see how this DNAs can be damaged DNAs, DNA damaged in human cells by uh, normal metabolic activities that is internal activities metabolic activities re releasing ROS reactive oxygen species during cellular respiration that has been evolved that can cause DNA damage then um, environmental factors such as UV rays and ionizing radiations can also alter the DNA then uh, this can result in molecular lesion in the cell and many of this lesion causes structural damage to the DNA and can alter or eliminate the cell's ability to transcribe the genes. DNA damage resulting in multiple broken chromosomes. So this DNA damage can lead to chromosomal breakage. The replication uh, may be affected by UV radiations, frequency causing a cross-linking of two adjacent pyrimidine bases on same DNA strand and give rise to intra-strand pyrimidine dimers such as CC, TC and TT. Then ionizing radiations can lead to opening up of the rings of some bases. Then alkylation of guanine which pair with thiamine instead of cytosine. then another type of dna damage is uh, deamination of cytosine to uracil by nitrites then deamination of adenine and cytosine to hypoxanthine and uracil then next cause may be hydrolysis of hyd glycosidic bond between sugar and the base of the nucleotide and non-enzymatic methylation of purine bases by sam these are the dna damage the types of dna damage cost let's see what is dna repair dna repair refers to a collection of process by which the cell is identifying and correcting the damage to the dna molecules that encode its genome so the dna repair system is identifying whether there is any uh, damaged cells or damaged base sequence and it is correcting those damages in order to um, maintain the correct genetic information the DNA repair ability of a cell is vital to the integrity of its genome and thus 
to its normal functioning and that of a organism now let's see the different types of dna repair mechanisms general mechanism shared in eukaryotes are excision repair out of that it comes base and nucleotide excision repair then mismatch excision repair and post replication repair endonuclease activity of the dna polymerase uh, possesses separate active sites for polymerase 3 to 5 exonuclease and 5 to 3 exonuclease activities dna polymerase act activity is as such so first let's see what is nucleotide excision repair and for this process we require the endonuclease the dna endonuclease is required that which cleaves this nu endonuclease enzyme cleaves at two points so so also called as exonuclease then we require dna polymerase and dna ligase dna polymerase for the synthesis of the uh, corrected uh, base sequence and dna ligase to uh, cover up, to seal the new newly synthesized base pair onto the dna sequence so here in uh, pyrimidines are forming dimers by the direct bond c c c bonds it is forming uh, pyrimidine dimers so the newly uh, synthesized strands will be have will not be having methylated bases so the enzymes can easily identify the original dna strands so uh, in the dna damage like pyrimidine dimers where they are forming c c direct bonds and forming pyrimidine dimers this this has to be identified so the, so this uh, mistake has to be identified corrected and newly newly dna has to be synthesized and it has to be added on to that so for that first we have to uh, identify the wrong sequence so the newly synthesized strand will not be having methylated bases so the enzymes can easily identify the original dna strands so this is how the original strand has been differentiated from the newly synthesized on the basis of the methylated bases the mismatched base is identified and removed with few uh, bases around that area and this dna polymerase will synthesize the small segment of dna with correct base sequence and uh, the gap is sealed by dna ligase here you can see a nucleotide excision repair mechanism so here this portion suppose this portion is having a damaged uh, base pair nucleotide base pair is there and uh, first it is been identified then, so this is the newly stranded 5 uh, to 3 direction that is a newly stranded uh, newly synthesized strand it is lacking the methylation so that is been identified and the damage is also identified and uh, uh, this base sequence which is around this damaged area few base sequence has been removed and there is a gap so the uh, next process is the dna polymerase the dna polymerase come to uh, into action it synthesizes new uh, sorry it will synthesize the corrected base sequence of the mother strand correct sequence is been synthesized and that is been added upon and dna ligase will seal next mechanism is base excision repair mechanism and that depends upon n glycosylase hydrolase n glycoside bond and it creates an ap site ap endonuclease is required dna polymerase is required dna ligase is also required in dna strands containing methylated and deaminated bases bases with cleaved rings and pyrimidine etc so these are the damaged dnas in which these base excision repair is being active a dna glycosylase recognizes a damaged base and it will cleave between the base and the deoxy ribose in the backbone and an ap endonuclease cleaves phosphodiester backbone near the ap site then dna uh, polymerase one will initiate the repair synthesis 
from the free OH group, three direction OH at the nick and uh, remove a portion of damaged strand and it would replace it by the undamaged DNA and the nick remaining after the DNA polymerase associated will be sealed by DNA ligase. So in base excision repair here you can see a damaged base is there that is being uh, identified the AP site is identified and DNA glycosylase is identifying and it is removing the damaged base and then next one AP endonuclease comes into action and that is removing the portions the damaged portion is being removed by it with the few bases and then the DNA polymerase will synthesize the newly strands and DNA ligase will see. In, in a conclusion we can say uh, the base excision repair the abnormal bases are removed and correct bases are add, added by the uh, base excision repair mechanism and N glycosylase recognizes and removes the wrong bases and an endonuclease will excise and the remaining sugar then the correct base is added by a DNA polymerase and is joined by a ligase it is sealed by a ligase. So base excision repair is uh, commonly seen during deep urination spontaneous damage occurring in the DNA and also during deamination of cytosine to uracil. So in those two cases that is deep urination and deamination damages to the uh, de, uh, base sequence causing the alteration or the damage that is being repaired by the base excision repair, deamination and deep urination. Next repair mechanism is mismatch excision repair. That is methyl directed mismatch repair recognizes the mismatch base pair and excises the correct base sequence and then carries out a repair synthesis. Uh, in E. coli initial stages involve, involve products of the M, products like MUTS, MUTL and MUTH genes etc. Then um, eukaryotes also have mismatch repair but it is not clear how old and new strands are being identified. In mismatch uh, repair the newly uh, here also the same mechanism is being used the newly stranded uh, strand will not be having methylated base so that is how uh, they are differentiating the original uh, template DNA strand from the newly synthesized strand and these enzymes will recognize the original strand and the mismatched base is also identified and removed along with the few bases in those area and the wrong base is removed by the endonuclease activity. A small segment of DNA with correct base sequence is then added to it and synthesized by the DNA polymerase beta and the gap is being also sealed by the DNA ligase. In E. coli the MUTS will bind with the mismatch area and determines which is the new strand by the lack of methylation and MUTL and MUTH will bind to the unmutilated GATC sequence and brings the GATC close to the mismatch by binding and MUTH then nicks the unmethylated GATC site and then mismatch is removed by the endonuclease activity and the gap is repaired by the DNA polymerase and sealed by ligase. In, eukaryot, in eukaryotes uh, four genes are being involved and all of these are um, mutagenes and mutation in any one of them can confer hereditary predeposition and hereditary non polypsis colon cancer.
here you can see it is uh, identifying first initially it is identifying the original strand from the newly synthesized strand by the methylation process and if there is any incorrect basis that is being identified and the MUTS will bind to the mismatched area and MUTS bound to the mismatch forms a complex with MUTL and MUTH and it will bring to the unmethylated GA, GA TC area. So, first it is identifying the uh, incorrect base sorry first it is identifying the incorrect base and this MUTS is binding to it along and it is forming a complex with MUTL and MUTH and this complex is brought to the GATC uh, unmethylated strand. GAT in the unmethylated strand means the newly synthesized strand GAT area this complex is being brought to those area and uh, since it is close to the mismatch area then uh, MUTH will nick the unmethylated DNA strand and a section of the new strand is being excised and included including the mismatched area. So that is being removed and then DNA polymerase will synthesize the newly new strand and the gap is being filled with the help of ligase. The correct strand is brought about by the DNA polymerase 3. Next let us see the disorders associated with uh, the DNA repair mechanism. First one is xeroderma pigmentosum. It is due to the endonuclease deficiency. It is due to the defect in NER system. Nucleotide excision repair mechanism is defective in such patients and these patients will be having extreme cutaneous hypersensitivity to sunlight, dry ketorized skin, then cutaneous hyperpigmentation, uh, dermal atrophy, excessive freckling, uh, corneal opacity and ulceration and multiple malignant skin tumors will be seen in such patients hypersensitive to sunlight and uh, skin disorders and ulceration of the cornea etc will be seen. Next one ataxia telangiectasia. It is a common autosomal recessive disease and there will be sensitivity to UV rays cerebral ataxia telangiectasia in eyes and uh, lymphoreticular neoplasm are common. It is due to the defect in a, uh, ATM gene and it is an autosomal recessive disease. Next one Fanconi's anemia. Next disorder is Fanconi's anemia due to the defect in DNA crossing repair. This is also an autosomal recessive disorder and uh, it is showing anemia and there will be increased frequency of cancer and patients will be having chromosomal instability. Next disease, it is hereditary non polyposis colon cancer due to defect in mismatch repair, otherwise called as Lynch syndrome. Next one is cocaine syndrome due to defect in NER mechanism, then transcription factor 2H is defective. In such patients, you will be having standard growth and mental retardation. Next one, Bloom's uh, syndrome. Bloom's syndrome, genetic defect, defect in DNA ligase. It, the patient will be having lymphoreticular malignancies, facial arrhythmia, and photosensitivity. These are the certain uh, disorders associated with DNA repair. Uh, it is usually the DNA disorders is usually asked short note and also the repair mechanisms. Okay, thank you.